back. It's RTTV. What up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill murder and smash, smash that subscribe button, guys. We are back with another episode of Arcane League of Legends. Yes, my keys fell out my pocket. That was really dramatic. I was sad. On the last episode of Arcane, it was a time skip. We saw that Jace has created Hextech, and it's pretty much running the world at this point. Yep. And he wants to create more Hextech moving forward. But Heimendinger was like, no, I'm not for it. And we also saw Jinx as a villain now. She seems to be kind of schizophrenic, a little bit crazy yep. and whatnot. She just wants to be accepted. And she low-key misses her sister. So as a result of her wanting to be accepted she goes topside to steal the new hex tech that they created that cannot be crushed to bring it to silco so we're gonna see what type of chaos this is right and now we were asking the question that we were asking last episode was where is vi where is vi is she a cop is she part of the rebels what is she doing we saw that um i'd be forgetting she's in jail She's locked she's up. They jail. won't let her out. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. She's I just wanted to say like that. She's in jail. Yo, yo, yo. Damn, bro. Oh, my gosh. Why are you listening to Katy Perry for me? Because I like Katy Perry. Gosh. Um, that was dramatic. But yeah, we just saw that. That was dramatic. <laughs> like really dramatic. Drop. Like the key drop. Um, yeah, we saw that Vi is in jail, and she's going to get recruited by the lady with the blue hair, who is now a cop. Caitlin, oh, she, she, or something Caitlin, like that. Caitlin, who just got fired. Because her parents was like, no, we don't want that. We don't want that in our family, no mommy, sister. So let's get into this next episode of Arcane League of Legends. Season one, episode five. Everybody wants to be my enemy. She's nice. See, that's why she be heated when people try to talk down to her like she's never, like she's really not about that. It's not even just that. It's just that her family nobles. This, her family are nobles, and they're like, "Hey, we don't want you to live this life." That's a fact. We're bougie. I wonder if she's like a sniper in League of Legends. <laughs> I feel you, right? She probably is. This show makes me really want to play this game. That was dope. That was like a first-person view right there. <laughs> That just goes to show, like, she was actually one of the right and good enforcers out there that wasn't overdoing a job. Is that right with you? Does this mean anything to you? Oh, she's gonna know off the rip is probably. Like me. You enforcers are all the same. Just asshole criminals in fancy uniforms. You know what? Find so good yourself. She's right with her experience. That's definitely yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I and that dude. That cop dude is still an asshole now. I thought he was going to be a good guy now. Marcus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's still an asshole. I know Caitlyn's like, this might be the dumbest shit i ever done, but Marcus. fuck it. Sons. Marcus. Mark asshole. <laughs> Mark asshole. Who was this, Daddy? My partner. Damn, she was ready to reel us. You killed him. I lost six offices. Oh, he wow, still works he directly. Still works with Silco. What? At least Silco wow. giving him bread, though. I guess it's still a punk, though. Like, after all that, after all that, like that, I'm saying, nah, but after all that, you're still gonna work with Silco. You mean you kill people, man? Matter of fact, just give me money for the dead body. It's whatever, B. Yo, I respect Jace. And he's just trying to prolong it because he knows who yes. did what. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Ah. Oh. Damn, this time it's short, bro. 
He why. needs that. Yeah, he exactly. needs that for, for his health. He's trying to live. Nah, you know how you said Jason's going to go crazy? I think he's going to go crazy. Victor. He wants to be like Iron Man. He wants one of them things in his heart. So, here goes. She's like really learning how to do this shit. In a crazy way. Yeah. Damn. Oh, oh deja vu. It was like Assassin's Creed. I got that vibe right, vibe right there. <laughs> She's all doing it properly. Kaylee, you are not gonna catch up to her if you're doing it like that. Oh, oh nah, she got oh, hops. Oh, that's fine. Spider Man. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's like Mirror's Edge. That's wild. Oh, wow. So at one point, they were not, they're were not they not even going to be in control of their own magic. Yeah, so the magic might evolve past them. <laughs> yeah. Yo, hold up. Can I, can I get yo, some like food in my belly real quick? I'm working here, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I see what she did there. And she's smart, too. It's like, I can't talk too much. Like, this is the underground. We move differently here. That makes sense. Keyword conspicuous. Yeah. There are those who covet your power over the wealth the Hexgates forge and would take any opportunity to seize it from you. That's a fact. You've just made yourself everyone's common enemy. Yeah, nah, dude, you gotta think about it. He's stopping their bread right there. If they're making money off of that import, you put yeah. a tight security on it. So you play with my pockets right now. Oh, that's their leaderboard right there. What up? Yeah, she looks so crazy. Oh, oh wow. damn. Oh, wow, okay. Damn. Straight up. Kella. Coffee. What? She's my favorite in this show. Ooh, ooh, she turned to a beast. Oh my god. Yeah, she turned to a beast, bro. So she's like fighting like vibe. Yeah, she got hands in she can shoot. Nah, she really hates her sister though. I don't think she hates her sister. Did she be her high school? She's smart enough to know she was wrong. Oh, she's only second to vibe. That's hilarious. She still can't beat her. That's why I feel like he didn't even want to become a counselor because all the politics involved with us. Damn. Wow. Playing right into her hands. That's the other counselor. Yeah, let's get rid of Hyman Dinger. Get him out of here. I mean, they don't even know what's going on. He's just enjoying himself while Talos is, while Jason's like playing him behind his back. Yeah, was She's doing it like a trumpet in there. Yeah, that's right. Hey. <laughs> I love what you do it like a trumpet. Go to Joe oh, Goldberg. Like, Yo, I thought oh Walter gosh. White. Remember when he did that in the office? <laughs> that show was wild. Hey, that's definitely a fact. The Vidalis usually only take from the world. They're not often in the position to give anything back. Oh, what's up with you, Shawty? He's flirting. I could have done it without you. Break my ass, hey. Oh, okay. She's smart. That's how you control a nigga right there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, that's how you control them. Or he's about to faint. Oh, oh, yeah, no. oh he's not making it. Oh, I'm going to uh -oh. put it on. Somebody's rocking, knocking the boots. His blood will figure it out? Oh, it's adapting. Oh, oh wow. wow. They finna heal this nigga. Imagine that. Gets a sample of his blood and is able to. That'd be lit. What's about to happen? What, what oh, the wow. hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> was... But that same day that we saw a bitch of him dying and we saw another one survive yeah. it. Yeah. So he literally thinks he died and he survived. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm, that's true. Okay. I see what he's doing. So, right? does he have to choke her out in the water or something? Craig was steady. Ah! Imagine. <laughs> Music video for it, yeah. Mm -hmm. They actually got the band performing in the background. Imagine you had Jack. Imagine Jack D pulls up. The mystery. Ah, that's fire! <laughs> Shimmer. I'm charged up. That should look good. <laughs> yeah, that had Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. There you go. Oh. Yup. Oh. Oh my Ooh, weave. God. Weave. Oh. Fuck her up, boss. <laughs> oh. oh. Superman up. punch on her ass. Stupid. As if they oh, had a real UFC person. You're just angry with Shimmer. Oh, oh damn. Oh, Truck okay. All right, I lied. I stand corrected. Oh, choke, choke slam. slam! Oh my god! Stupid! Oh, oh my god! The way they punch those. Yeah, it's so realistic. Oh my gosh! Ow! Ow! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, oh damn! Gosh. Oh! <laughs> oh! Bitch! Wow, that's my favorite, bro. Easily, she's the littest character. Powder, nigga. I mean, Jinx. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, we all know you're getting attacked by, from behind. By yep. Caitlyn, oh, baby. Caitlyn. Oh yeah, get your shit right. All right. Oh gas. The nah, Jinx is nah, Jinx is a dope character. Nah, she is. <laughs> They're all dope characters. There's not too many characters. The only person I don't like is Marcus. He's like, what? I just fucking transformed her. From the dead. From the dead. From bad. Did Marcus tell her? I think Marcus might have told Silco that she was dead, and then he just locked her up. That might be what it was, because he yeah. said from the oh. dead, like he didn't know she was alive. Oh. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Oh, he on Marcus's ass now. So Marcus straight up lied. Like, I mean, Marcus is dumb for working with him again anyway. I don't we should have known, though, because obviously he was continued working with him, no? That's weird, yeah, though. Like, How would he? Yeah, that, like, that, that's weird, though, because if, if she's in jail, too, then he put her in jail. So how would, how would Soko not know that she's still alive in jail if they were directly together? Because Marcus just put her in jail and never told Soko. But my only thing in my mind is like, if you fucked with her enough not to, like to say she's dead, like you didn't want her to get bodied, why don't you? Why don't y'all just work together? Soko clearly don't fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Like he must have really been giving him good bread earlier, and then he got himself to a point like once I do certain enough certain things for you, it's like what are you going to do now? You know how much leverage I got on you. You're the yeah. sheriff, and you did all this, and he got him to be sheriff. So I mean, I, I don't know. I guess that was that was worth it to him, but I just don't get it. I would have let Vi out a long time ago. Like yo, Soko really busting my balls, yo. Go get him. He lives right over here with your sister. <laughs> But you know what's crazy though? The one thing that he did, he worked with him, right, to pretty much get Vander 
and get by who literally did a crime, right? So what did he really do wrong? To get to bring Vander over there to him because at the end of the day, top side's not gonna be like, oh, well, you're the reason why Vander got killed because they don't even like the underground anyway. They hold a bias towards them anyway. So why? I don't think that's a legitimate reason to still be working with him because at that point, he really doesn't have anything on him if you think about it. Well, I don't think. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, th- so, I'm talking about Silco. So I'm talking about Silco and Marcus. Well, they've been he, working with each other for a minute. He arranged the the whole attack on on Vander that killed the cop. Remember he was oh, like, yeah. and that's how he became sheriff. That's yeah. how. Okay. Yeah. Once you said okay, because I'm saying the attack on Mander, that's cool. The cop dying, yeah. that's a whole different thing. Yeah, for sure. That's a whole different thing. Because at that point, he will get in trouble for that. I just didn't think. I know he's not gonna get in trouble with that thing with Mander. And then supposedly with, with the books, he was uh, helping. I think smuggle goods and stuff like that. Yeah. Remember, oh. um, Jace oh. was like, "Yo, these logs, like, there's a bunch of shit going on. Nothing is being accounted for. Like, what's going on here?" And that's why he went to Silco and was like, yo, he's about to ca- he's about to catch on to what we've been doing and shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But still, even the thing with the cop, do you honestly think that um do you honestly think that they would still believe somebody from the underground that Marcus was involved with the cop's death? Which he really wasn't. Like Silco if you have enough one. if you have enough evidence then yeah. Nigga, Jace is a counselor right now. You feel me? So like the position he holds, if he says something, they have to that's why Marcus is so like so nervous right now because before Jace can say whatever he wants, but he's a counselor now, so like his word holds way more bar than before. And that's why he's about to get finesse out his boots with Shorty. And it looks it's, like they care about the un- underground a little more now because they're like, Hextech, we, we, our plan is to get the magic to everybody, even people in the underground. You know what I'm saying? So like, I think they do sort of kind of still care about the people in the underground. And like, Jace was kind of a nobody before that. Yeah. Um, before. He still came from a rich family, though. But. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, because his family made the hammers. Yeah, but it seems like they're still trying to be, it's they're still trying to do good. But I'm also still trying to figure out, you know, um, the the black show I'd be forgetting the name. Um, but de- Symmetra, Symmetra, yeah, Symmetra. I don't know. If she, do you guys <laughs> think? Do you guys think? <laughs> I feel like this. Uh, but do you guys think she's a good guy or she's a? What angle do you nah, I still think it's the same shit from before. She yeah. trying to make bread. Like, awesome. Jace, Jace and Victor, like, I think I said like two episodes ago, bro. They, they trying to help people. Like, they trying to, like, Victor especially. Like, my boy, wasn't we supposed to help the underground, bro? Like, we're supposed to make their life easier. They got it bad over there. And you're waiting to tell these people that we have shit that can help the world. You're over here bullshitting. Now, this girl finessed them, which I see how she finessed them. She's like, bro, you digging into some shit that you don't even know about. They will smoke you, my nigga. Like, so now you need to make friends. How are you going to make friends? Tell them you got Hextech, which will make them money. Because you're trying to play their pockets now. So now you got to play their pockets the other way and be like, yo, listen, man. I got you. My fault on that shit. And listen, you want to make bread? I got you. I got this Hextech, bro. I'm trying to do this shit. You want to be a partner with me? Now we're going to make money together. Because he asked if you want to be an investor. So now they're going to make bread. And that, girl's, that girl made all the play. She introduced him to the plug. Yeah. He's the plug. They was like, yo, here's that's the plug. Thing, that's Go make bread. Yeah. Like, that's it. There's not much more. I, I don't know why. I just be thinking that she's going to play a bigger role and she's going to do something really, really villainous and shisey. Especially she, because she, she might, but... It. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be like awesome shit that, like, she connects him with the wrong person. You feel me? And he just mm. misuses it, weaponizes the hex tech. Mad people get body in the underground because they probably try to test the, test the hex tech down there because they don't care about him. And there could be some shit like that. He feels like he blame, he's, he's to blame for that. It, he wouldn't be the one to blame if that shit happened though. Cause he made it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, making technology like that—that's the whole point of him doing it. Facts. I, I think it's funny because Silco is gonna be the good guy. I feel like Silco might end up being a good guy at the end because so? I, in a way, in a way, because you gotta think about it. He's trying to weaponize Hextech to hold down the underground. He knows that if they weaponize it up there, we're fucked. So if that girl gets it to sell to somebody and they weaponize that Hextech. They already don't. They already be bullshitting with the underground. They don't give them shit. They bl- they be violating them. I feel like Silco's on some shit like Vendor. You don't get it. Like they're gonna eventually come down here, and we're gonna be all even worse off than we are. So I'm gonna weaponize this shit, and I'm gonna make the underground the upground. He's just he's just trying to flip the switch on them niggas. Like Vendor, I don't think he. I mean Silco, I don't think he's trying to weaponize it to hurt his own people. I think he's trying to oh, weaponize. He's, to of, he's gonna he's, he's gonna go there and violate because they be violating them. So it's like a broke person being like, nah, if I could get rich anyway, I'm gonna get rich. like yo, I'm not. 
I'm not letting them keep violating us. It's not the same thing as that. It's not. Right? It's more villainous. It's, it's more villainous. Right? But I'm just saying, hurt. if your people getting violated, if your people getting violated by the people up there, you wouldn't be like, yo, my turn to start I doing it. I want to go about the way Silk was trying to go. About yeah, he violated. That's, that's gonna be counterproductive. You feel me? If I go kill all these people, it's even less of a chance that they're gonna rock with us and basically try to create the actual like sustainable like relationship where we like topside could live. With like the people down there. Yeah, Van Vander was on some shit. Like I'm okay with being second fiddle. Yeah. As long as y'all leave us down here, we'll be the we'll be the we'll be the bottom. That's cool with me. Soko is like, nah, we ain't, we ain't gonna be from the bottom. You're not gonna keep telling me we the bottom. No, that's it. And so like it's just a difference of philosophies. But I feel like at the end it's gonna be like somebody up top is gonna do some shit. Where you're gonna be like, oh, I get why Soko is doing that because he knew if they ever got it, if they get, it's like people are racing to, to find the the technology to say the word. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if they get it before me, I'm screwed even worse, and I'm already screwed. It's already out because of powder though. Well, Powder was dead before. She killed four, four officers. So, it already looks bad on you, though. Their relationship is already thing, bad, though, but... But that's the thing, though. Here's the thing. They were building that hex set to help the underground. And the thing that made up... That actually fucked up their relationship more with the underground was... Powder was... um um What you would call it? Jinx still in the hex set. Which, even so... um Without Silco even knowing what it was for... Silco spazzed on her. He's like, yo, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, that's crazy, right? Now that he has that in his possession because he never had any aspirations to actually get that hex tech in his possession. Now, <laughs> now that he has a hex tech, he's like, all right, now I'm going to use this to my advantage and I'm going to get rid of these dudes. But the whole time, the top side wasn't even really trying to get, m mostly Jace wasn't mm -hmm. trying to get rid of them. He was trying to think of different ways to help them, to help everybody. And even so, Victor was on that same time too. So, I mean, I still don't think Jace, I still don't think um, Soko's going to be the good guy in any way, shape, or form because he's gonna do something and he's gonna it's gonna be hella corrupt the way he does it. His uh, his decision may affect the long term of the top of top side in the underground. I just I get what you're saying. I, I don't think I don't think he's necessarily a good person, but I'm I'm interested to see like if he always felt like if they got this shit, I'm screwed. Like cause I wanna see what happens when that hex tech up top gets in the wrong hands and what they do to the bottom. I'm interested. I think Soko's gonna be up to it though, because that whole situation with um with Jinx doing that whole baptism. She might have gotten there she first. She cracked it, bro. You seen her do the whole phone yeah. exorcist shit? So I feel like, like he's gonna be the first person to actually weaponize it since he got um Jinx by his side. Cause so the next thing we see, I think episode six is gonna be them violating top side. Because the funny part about it is Victor, um, not Victor, Vander, Vander wanted to wanted to fight them niggas too because they violated him, but he was like, yo, you don't get it. We can't fight them right now. Yeah. If we fight them, they're going to smoke us out. Yeah. So once Silco gets that power, all right, yo, y'all want smoke? What's up with you? What's up? So now that's, the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I feel like they always have beef, bro. They be mad at they be mad at Jinx because it's like, yo, we're not ready to fight them. I don't. It's not really a thing of like, why'd you do that? It's like, yo, if they come down here on some smoke shit, yeah. we're fucked. Like, that's what, that's what Vander Sweet said. <laughs> Vander wasn't mad that it'll happen. It's just like, bro. You understand if you do that, they're going to come down here with all their soldiers and we don't got it like that. They're going to smoke us out. Everybody wants to fight Topside. Like, they're, I don't think they don't. They want a smooth relationship. They've been violating us. So it's like, yo, let me get this power and then that will allow me to fight against you. I can't fight against you right now. And that's why Soko gets money. Like, I feel like he needs the money for the research. He, I, I don't think he's a good guy, but I think that, like, either way, he's trying to find out how we could, we're going to move up in the world. Because oh, even Jace, Jace wants to help them, but... Nigga, the council don't give a shit about that. They don't give a goddamn about helping the, uh, the exactly. underground. They don't, they don't. So, like, don't. Jace might be the one guy up there that wants to change, but it's like, yo, it's like a person, if there's one per good person in government, but there's 30 people that are like, no. What the hell are you going to do? Yeah, you going to be the one guy who keeps on saying, I want to be nice, but if it don't fucking matter if everybody don't agree with you. Can't move shit. You can't make progress with just one person, at least in that situation. I do want to say that fight scene with Vi phenomenal, absolutely. Yeah, that shit was that dope. was a good way to bring back Vi. Pretty much beat up um, the traitor, the traitor chick, and yeah, yeah. And and um, Kathleen's introduction with her sniper because we didn't really get to see how much of a shooter she was last episode. That was dope too. And I think she is going to be called Cupcake. That'll be her nickname, kind of like how Powder is Jinx. Yeah. And Vi, she don't have one yet. Is Vi? No, well, her nickname is Vi because her whole name is like. Violet. Violet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So her nickname is just Vi. So that'll be dope. Excited to see what's going to happen in the next episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching with us. But if it's.